Hey guys, Zuljan here and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest Builders 2. We are uh, cooking up some some dinner. I wanted to harvest a little bit of resources off camera like I normally do in these playthroughs so that we don't have to sit around and wait for stuff to happen. And I figured I would cook and remember that little chest that we saw at the very beginning? I went ahead and grabbed it and brought it over here just because I think we might be able to use it to decorate our house. But oh, girl has been talking about how she needs her beauty sleep. Let's see now. You've repaired the room, sorted out my sleeping arrangements, made me supper. I do believe that's everything. Well, I'm glad you think so, Lulu. I must say, it's a real relief to have a builder around. And judging by the quality of your work, one would never imagine you were still only learning the ropes. Well, thank you for the compliment. I know you're stranded here, but in a weird way, I'm actually looking forward to it. Ooh, I shall give you even more work to do so that you might blossom as a builder. Oh boy. The castaway life might be a little less luxurious than I'm accustomed to, but even so, I think you could be... This could be a fun little adventure. I could be a fun little adventure too, girl. Anyway, <laughs> and as for you, Malroth, this could be the perfect opportunity to absorb a little culture and maybe even some manners. Uh, he's aggravated. Now then, Zuljan, I want you to go out at first light every morning and forage 30 scallywankles and 50 strips of kelp. It must be all cooked by lunchtime or I shall be cross. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's not happening. Lulu's demand's complete. So, we got all the quests complete last episode and now we are ready to venture forward. Let me grab my little, uh, my little stuff. And I think Malroth wants to talk now. I thought Lulu might calm down a bit once she's got what she wanted, but she's just a bigger pain in the neck as she was before. Still, I'm impressed. Despite all her nagging, you made everything we need to stay alive. I wish I could do what you do. <sighs> hey, Zuljan, can I go out? Can I go on that workbench? I want to try to make something myself. Yeah, yeah. Let's uh, let's go. I'll show you. I'll show you what to do, buddy. I've been watching you make stuff all day, and I'm pretty sure I know exactly what to do. Watch this, Zuljan. I'm going to be a builder just like you. Now then, what was it you do first? <laughs> what you got, buddy? What you got? What you made? Huh? Oh, no, that's not right. It blew up, bruh. It blew up. <laughs> Dang it. Why isn't this working? Because you're not a builder, homie. That's all. Don't feel bad. All right, you asked for it. He's gonna get mad at it. <laughs> get it! Ah, it just blew up bigger. What did I do wrong? It doesn't make sense. Gah! Why can't I make things? At this rate, I'll never be a builder. Ah, forget it. I thought making stuff would be fun in games, but it's actually way harder than it looks. Sorry, Zuljan. I'll be relying on you to build things for me here on out. And seeing as you made all this stuff for Lulu, I think it's about time we even things out and you made something for me. Hmm. You want something good? Oh, yeah, write it down, boy. Write it down. I got <laughs> I got it hooked up. We know how to make Ooh. Ooh, this is the club I see. That's um that's always in the trailer and stuff. Bam! Club! Okay, now, how do we give it to you? Is that for me? Why would I want a silly old stick? Yeah, but it's not a cypress stick, bruh. It's not just any stick, it's an oaken club. I could use it to whack stuff? Haha! <laughs> -ha! Sounds right up my alley. All right, I'll take it. Give it here. So how, uh, you just, bam, give it to Mauro. Oaken club to Mauro. Hey, this really is a club and a half. I wonder how it performs. Only way to find out. Stand back while I give this beauty a few test swings. Whoa. Oh, yeah. He looks... Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I like it. No, I love it. Squishing slimes will be so much more satisfying now. And to think you made it using only the junk we found on the beach. You're amazing. Thanks, Zuljan. This club is the best present anyone's ever given me, I think. Huh? Can you feel that? Some kind of evil aura. It must be coming from a monster. But whatever it is, it's way more dangerous than those scrawny little slimes we saw before. We could use... This could be a good chance for you to learn a thing or two about how to fight. Just follow my lead, and you'll be scrapping with the best of them in no time. The monster's somewhere down the coast to the west. Come on! I want to break in my new club, 
by breaking that sucker's skull. Wow. <laughs> My world's violent, man. A new destination is added to the map. All right. Um, so, the map shows that we got to go this way. Now, we got plenty of food and stuff, so we should be all right. I'm actually going to eat one more of these things. And that'll bring my food up to 92. Perfect. All right. Oh, yeah. When I was harvesting resources, I saw this place before, but I didn't really go into it. Let's see what it's got. Looks like there's... Oh! A group of monsters. I'll show you. Oh, I love the music. Oh! Get him, Alroth! I'll get him in the back! You get him in the front, buddy! <laughs> yes! <laughs> nice! Smack! Look at that high five! Whoa! That was... What was that? You stuck your hand out just then? He got irresistible urge to slap it! <laughs> it's called a high five? Something friends do to celebrate a job well done? Huh? I never thought of myself as the touchy-feely type, but maybe I can make an exception for this high-five malarkey. <laughs> anyway, how'd you enjoy the battle? I don't know about you, but I'm feeling fitter already. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, we got level-ups! Bam! Maoroth gets stronger and Zul'jin reaches level 2. His maximum hit points increase? Huh. Feels good whacking that rat, <laughs> right? It's like an irritating little itch that has well that's been well and truly scratched. But don't forget, you're a builder, not a fighter. If you want to stick to the construction, you can leave the monster fighting to me. Still, building does look like fun. I wish I could make stuff like you do, but I guess a wonton destruction is more my bag. Oh, I get it. I get it. Anyway, let's head back to the hut before Lulu steals all the bedding. She's a wily one, all right. You better make sure you sleep with one eye open tonight. Zul'jin? Yeah? I'm glad I met you. What do you say we explore the whole island together? Just you and me, but let's do it tomorrow. I'm about to conk out for a second now. Yeah, sounds good, man. Sounds good, Malroth. Time to hit the hay. Resting in bed uh, during the daytime will restore your health, but climb into bed at night and you'll go straight to sleep and waking up bright-eyed and bushy-tailed the next morning. That sounds like a plan to me. Come on, Malroth. We got sleep to do. I wonder if you can ever build up your stamina or anything. Or buff it to where you can run longer. That would be kind of cool. All right. Or maybe some equipment that allows you to do it. All right. Uh, Maroth, you want... Oh. I got to sleep in between them, I guess. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I love the little in music. It's so good. All right. Ah. Good morning. You too. I hope you slept soundly because your new life as castaways officially begins today. Your first mission is to collect some kelp for breakfast and the bit eek. No. What is it, Lulu? A monster? It's my scallywinkle. It disappeared. What? All right, Malroth, own up. I know it was you purposely ate half of that seared scallywinkle last night, so I can have the rest for breakfast. Give it back this instant. What are you whittling on about? I haven't touched your manky half-munched mollusk. I got some, y'all. I got some. That aura. What's going to be this time? Oh, we got new monsters. Hey, you two. <laughs> You're going to want to see this. Ooh. There's the culprit. That monster must be the one who snaffled... My scallywankle. Ho ho ho! I remember those guys from the first one. Oh, dang. What on earth just happened? That's quite a hammer hit you got there, buddy. <gasps> it's a temple or something. Whoa, it just took down the whole cliff. And are those steps? Uh, I think so. This way, young whip whip whippersnappers. Huh. <gasps> the lights on and stuff? Oh. That floating freak can't seriously expect us to follow it, can it? What else are we gonna do? On second thought, 
Maybe be able to tell us something about the island. Lulu, Zuljin, let's go after this monster. I've got some questions that need answering. Heck yeah, man. Heck yeah. I got the Scallywinkle stuff taken care of, though. Sat. Sat. Sit. Hey, what is... Oh. That's not something I could, uh... I could thwack. Is this grass? Oh, yeah. Dry grass. I've got to get this dry. Thank you, Malroth. Thank you. You know, I got to harvest a little bit as I go, y'all. You know? How about this? Can we? Huh. <gasps> New material cord. Oh yeah, we can't get the um the little uh, braziers though. Not yet, at least. This way, this way, quickly, quickly now. Yeah, I gotta get some of that cord. You know we gonna need it. Stay where you are, you freaky fogey. <laughs> I don't like this one bit. That mad old monster's even got the sky, sky turning in funny color. Who cares about stupid sky? I want my breakfast and you two are jolly well helping get it back. You relax, missy. You just keep your pants on, okay? Keep your daggum pants on. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Mauroth. All right, I'm pretty good on cord now. We got quite a few pieces and stuff. 18? All right. Okay, one more. Oh, you could climb it too. I'll tell you what. Let's see if we can go on a little side mission here. Not really, huh? It does allow us to go a little bit further up. Hmm. Can you place it as well? No. Nope, you can't. Okay, I thought you could place it as well. That would have been cool. Doesn't look like... Ooh, maybe? Yeah? Oh, uh -uh. get off it! Alright. So, oh. You know, I want to go all the way, guys, but... Always stuff to the side makes me think, hmm... Hmm. Oh, look! It was just a shortcut. The whole time, that's all it was. I hope we didn't have to light up all the brazers as we went. Um. Open? Masonry wall. <gasps> and braziers. Okay. Oh, alright. I think, um, all of the braziers did have to be lit up. <laughs> Uh, in order for us to get this uh, this quest thing, you had to take a side route, Hanzi. Huh, you just had to. Look at all this, though. I wonder how much fall damage you take by going down like this height. All right, I'll tell you what. Let's just go the way that we were supposed to. <laughs> Let's just go the way that we were supposed to. Okay, the braziers light up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's all part of the sequence. I guess they want you to see everything. Which is... What was that back there? Okay, there's a hole. What's in there? Oh! You can just place it anywhere? Okay, that's kind of neat. Look in there. I want to go. I want to go. Maybe he's going to give me a hammer, y'all. This way, kid, kid, Winkles. <laughs> Nearly there. I hope that big chest is a hammer, y'all. A hammer would rock right now. That means I could break through walls and bash rocks. He's leading us on a wild goose chase. Doesn't that horrid Hammerhood expect us to follow him all the way to the top of the mountain? Hammerhood, that's the name of him. That monster's got some kind of strange power. I never felt anything like it. We need to catch up. Mm-hmm. See, he knows. He knows what's happening. It's down there. I know. Pay attention, Z. Just go where you're supposed to right now. 
You can explore the island later. This is a wild goose chase, though. All right, here we are. <gasps> Whoa! Uh-huh. He's gonna open up that chest for us. Isn't he? What's this place like this doing in a desert island? Come on, Zul'jin. The hammer hood's just up ahead. Let's make it spill the beans on all this island's secrets. There's no escape now, you sneaky scalawinkle swindler. Just hand over the blave. The... the biva... the bivalve? And no one gets hurt? Surely a noble lady can permit a hungry ham hammerhood her half snorf leftovers. He did take it. I'll tolerate no excuses. Stealing is stealing. No ifs or buts about it. Zuljin se seared that scalawinkle especially for me. Now give it back, you horrible, hoary, hairy hamlet. Ah, yes, Zuljin. It just so happens that I've been waiting for a builder to rock, rock, rock up here for, oh, a very long time indeed. Wait, how do you know he's a builder? Oh, you're an observant one, aren't you? Why, the very reason I pinched that scrum scrum scrumptious scallywinkle was to lure your fine friend up here. Look around you, Zuljin. This temple has laid in this sorry state for longer than I can recall. If you are the builder I believe you to be, then perhaps you can fix, fix, fix it. Everything you need to rebuild the temp temp temple is right here in these chests. But a fresh faced builder like you might find the going diff diff difficulties without a blueprint as a guide come back here you conniving old cogger <laughs> this you think we're going to fix your house for free you've got another thing coming well hey we could live here too though and anyway what's a blueprint well i'm gonna write it down yeah whoa <laughs> you heard him? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Mountaintop Temple Blueprint. So total, we're going to need a bunch of masonry walls, which we've already got some of. Some braziers, which we already got some of. And uh, uh, whatever this is. Uh, why did you draw all these lines on the ground? It's one of those blueprints the Hammerhood was talking about. Gosh, you've never even been here before, but you were still able to draw up a design for the mountaintop temple? That's incredible! And you thought I was a rookie, huh, girl? Nah? Now all you have to do is build it. Make sure you follow the blueprint to the block now. Well, I mean, yeah. If that's all Looney was telling you the truth, those chests should contain everything you need to finish the job. It looks like you'll need to do is place the masonry wall blocks in squares and put a brazier on top of each one Use your gloves to move them if you make a mistake. Are you ready to show Gary Glowslot how a real builder does things? Keep one eye on the blueprint and you can't go wrong. Okay, build to spec. Press the middle button when you're standing on it, blueprint, and to view more info about it. Check the blueprint as build and make sure every block is in its right place. Okay, I got some more masonry walls. And some more braziers. Sweet! Okay, so... Masonry blocks first. So we just place them down just like so. And in first person it's a little bit easier sometimes. There we go. All right, and now we got to do the other side real quick, and it's already kind of modeled for you, right? There was a way to... Oh, yeah. So if you hold the L2 button, you can just place. So like this, for instance. Can't place that there. Wait, what? I don't know why it tells me. You... Oh, that's never mind. I got you now. <laughs> I got you. So that's the place down. That's how you do it really quick. Yeah. All right. 
brazers. Get one right there. One right here. And I, I am imagining this is how puzzles are going to kind of work. To get things like the chests. Heck yeah. Look, my girl dancing down there. Bam! High five! Good work, Stulgin. You finished the blueprint. And you didn't even break a sweat. I think I'll have you to build me the next palace. <laughs> Wait, me a palace next? That shouldn't be any trouble for an expert like you. Answer me one thing, though. How'd you come up with that blueprint in the first place? I'm a builder, bruh. Wait, I think I know the answer. That big book on your back has everything you need to know about being a builder in written inside. You're busted now, Zuljin. The secret's out, so you may as well let me read it. I mean, you can read it all you want. You won't? Why not? Oh, is something the matter, Zuljin? You've gone all red. Wait. You don't have a mucky magazine sandwich in between your pages, do you? She thinks I got bad stuff? She thinks I got a nudie mag? Muckiness doesn't matter to me. A quick wipe down with a damp cloth, and it'll be good to... Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this this just went savage. Ho ho ho! You finished repairing the temple, I see. I knew you would, would, wouldn't let me down. All it was, all it took was a glance, and you drew up that blueprint as quick, quick, quick as a flash. You're a real deal, Zuljin. A builder born and bred, bred, bred. They only bred once to make me do, buddy. As a thank you for your hard work, 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 I'd like to give you a little present. Is that big thing that we standing on right now? Here, you deserve it for a crack, crack, cracking job you did. Yaha! Ya a hammer. Silly old hammer. I thought you were going to give me back my breakfast. That's a giant mallet. An indispensable item to the toolkit kit of any self-respecting builder. Heck yeah, it is. With that hammer in your hand, you can break, break, break blocks you couldn't before and gather even more materials, like rocks. I also have another cork, cork, corking gift for you, Zuljin. I'm sure you'll like this one. I mean, I like the other one. I give you this island, all of it, every last block, block, block. What? You're giving him the entire island? All he did was repair the temple. Heck yeah. This island is mine. Oh my god. The world was once home to a legendary builder. They came to the island, the Isle of Awakening, and sought to turn it into their very own piece of paradise. <laughs> Look at this place, man. But now everything has crumb crumb crumbled away. And all that remains is the ancient builder's belief. Embedded, bed bedded in the blocks beneath us. It's a little bit easier to talk with his speech than it is those those dang imps earlier that were that were lifting all over the place. <laughs> Long have I waited for another builder to come. One who could bring life back to this barren land, block by block, block, block. And you want Zul'jin here to do all the hard work? We don't even know what you're supposed to build. And we don't know who you are either. I bet this island isn't even yours to give away. It certainly is mine, mine, mine. I'll have you know that I'm the guardian spirit of the island and what I say goes. He did take down a whole daggum cliff to open his temple up. Like, he ain't just like some dude. Well, it looks like you've just become the proud owner of a private island, Zul'jin. Are you going to take the offer? If you do accept, would you mind if I stayed here? I don't really have anywhere else to go. I'll stick around too. At least until I got my memory back. I mean, if that's okay with you. Yeah, y'all can stay. What do you say, Zul'jin? We take the island. It's a stonk, stonk, stonky good offer. Yeah, I'm gonna take it. I just knew you'd make the right decision. Now we can begin work on Lulutopia? No. No, no, no. The first thing I want is a palace. Malroth, I need you to... Nope. Lulutopia? I don't think so. Today we established Malroth's empire of evisceration. Right, Zul'jin? Or she could be our first sacrifice. Ha! <laughs> 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 ho ho ho! You young upstarts, this island belongs to Zul'jin now. You should leave big, big, big decisions like these up to him. 
Now, Zul'jin, you must be itching to try out that giant mallet of yours. Yes, I am. Come up and see if you could break, break, break this wall behind me. There's an absolutely smash, smash, smashing treasure back there. I wouldn't think you'll be very interested in. Wait, I think you'll be very interested in. My bad. Okay, R2 for a single strike. Or press and hold to hit continuously. Ooh. You can switch tools anytime by pressing X. So, R2. Hell yeah. And X. That changes to my gloves. Or my stick is triangle. Okay. Beautiful. All right, let's go behind him. And smash the wall, shall we? Oh. No? He said to smash the wall. Oh, I see. It's a, the one with the quest marker on it, possibly? Aha. Uh -huh. Inspect. You call that a treasure? It just looks like a tidy old note board to me. It may seem ordinary to the untrained eye, but that notice board is in fact a portal through which a builder may peek, peek, peek into other dimensions. I'll explain more later. For now, just peer into the portal and marvel at the knock, knock, knock out things you'll see. The notice board is where builders go to share their favorite snaps. Use it when you want to show off or need a spark of inspiration. You must be connected to the network to access the notice board. Oh, okay, so you can get to see other things that have been uploaded like this. You must create an account if you want to enjoy the game's online features. Your account has been registered successfully. Well, I just had to press X a couple times. Today snaps. Oh my gosh. Look at all these things. Oh man, Be kitchens? Home sweet. Oh, people are just going at it. <laughs> That's awesome. Ho ho ho, did you like what you saw, young youngins? Oh, yes. I saw the most wonderful photographs, and there were so many of them. I hope Zuljan takes the time to snap a few himself. I can be his model. <laughs> Gosh, she is something else, y'all. And then he could post some on the notice board and share them with the world. Young, young, youngins, enjoy yourselves. Come and find me when you're done, done, done. I'll be waiting right out here. Say cheese, open the menu with options, and press triangle to the enter snapshot mode. You could store up to 99 snaps in your album. Beautiful. That's going to help me with screenshots, y'all. Sweet. All right. When when can we get when can we get this thing down here? Is that a chest? Oh, it's just a hammer. I thought that was a a, a chest that was like submerged, but it's all good. Ho ho ho. How do you like your new notice board? It's quite the snap snap snapper's paradise, isn't it? As long as you have one of these boards nearby, you can flop, flop, flop the laws of space and time and observe your work of other builders whenever you desire. And I'm going to be doing some of that off camera. And you did put your creations on display for other builders, you too. I sure, I'm sure you can see the notice board is a soup, soup, super source of ideas and inspiration. Half of that was complete gibberish to me, but if it helps you to build a place of the palace of my dreams, I'm all for it. Speaking of which, I can see you make much progress on that any time. Now is one rather big stumbling block that's getting in the way. Is this island? There's hardly any raw materials, but I don't even think even a master builder would contemplate constructing a castle out of scallywinkles and kelp. Oh, I know, little lassie. There's only one way to get your hands on the materials you need to track, track, track them down somewhere else and bring them back here. Aha! As the young damn damn damsel pointed out, this island is more than a little lacking in useful materials as for an aspiring builder. But even if you had everything you needed, I doubt you can make a headway with just the three of you. Wood and stones are all well and good, but you really have what you really need is people. You'll have to travel to other islands and bring them back, a few friends to help you out. Besides, it gets lonely and rattling around the big old island by yourself. A few fresh face faces will really liven up the place. Hold on, I thought we were stranded. How are we supposed to get back to the islands without a ship? A top notch question indeed, and one of the heavens shall soon answer. You're just <laughs> winging this, aren't you? You don't have a clue. <laughs> huh? Hey! Ho ho! Ship, ship, ship! Whoever would have thought it? You're doing this on purpose now. Alright, out with it. 
Who are you really? And you can cut all the guardian spirit rubbish. Well, to tell you the truth, I can't remember who I am. I'm not even sure I ever knew. <laughs> but I've got a funny feeling that it will all come right back to me if I watch Zul'jin work his building magic. Well, there's no time like the present. Let's go and speak to the captain at ship and get the work started. A new destination has been added to your map. Man, we, uh... That was a whole lot to take in, y'all. That was a whole lot of... So, the mallet, right? Can't break everything. In fact, can't break a lot of stuff. But... You can break some stuff. You can get braziers. Like this. I'm tearing it all down. I'm already destroying it. Ooh. And it looks like some blocks you can break. Yeah. Extra stones. Now, I know you can get stone from these things, too. Okay, you only get one rock from these, and you get... Oh! Malroth does it, too? Nice. Nice. So... There was a little hideaway that we had saw earlier that I'd like to take a peek through. Where was that? Oh, what was that? Oh, you could do, um... Oh, I guess that's some emotes. Huh. <laughs> okay. Is there any way to get through here now? No. Still no. Still no. So kind of looking around again, it doesn't really look like there's an easy way to get up here. I kind of looked around and I don't know. Maybe I'll, I'll explore a little bit off camera and uh, we might actually need something to break the big rocks. Maybe a hammer upgrade or something like that, like a stone hammer. But that is going to be it for this one, you guys. I hope y'all really enjoyed the episode. Thank y'all so much for watching. If you did enjoy the episode, give me some dap on that like button to show you support for the series. And uh, we'll see you in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Zoljan signing off, and we'll see you next time. Break it down.